Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in computer organization and architecture. We are going to start unit 2, basic structure of computer. And in this video, we are going to see the basic elements of the computer. First we will see what is computer and what are the different types of computer. And we will see the functional units of the computer. And this particular question, functional units of computer, is a very important question in this particular area. Okay. So we'll start with what is a computer. A computer is a fast electronic calculating machine which accepts digital input from the keyboard and processes those input based upon the instruction which is already stored. Right. And then the result of that particular execution is sent to the output device. Okay. So this is about computer. So all you have to understand is three important processes. One is uh, input device, another one is uh, processor, another one is output. That is, we give information through input device and that particular in information is executed in the processor based upon the instruction which is already stored in the memory, right? And then the output of that particular execution is sent to the output device, right? And the important aspects of computer architecture involves computer hardware, it is instruction set architecture and computer organization. Okay. And you know that it, uh, the computer hardware has a lot of electronic circuits, uh, displays like monitors and all those things, and magnetic and optical storage medias, and you know what are the different input and output devices. Right. So this is the basic elements of the computer. Right. You can see it has a keyboard, uh, it has a processor which is the CPU, it, it is also called a Java. Right, the CPU will have motherboard, processor and all those things, correct? Right, so input device, processor and output device, right? And inside the processor itself, uh, the CPU itself will have something called memory for storage, okay? So whatever input which you are giving, it will be accepted through the keyboard, right? And that particular input will be given to the processor, right? And if needed, you can store that information in the memory as well. Right, and then those particular information is executed and processed in the processor and the output is given to the output device, the monitor. Right, and if the output is needed to be stored for future references, we can also store that information in the memory. Correct, so this is the basic, very basic operation of the computer. Right, so, and now we will see different types of computer. Right, so different types of computers is... Computers is classified based upon the size and performance. Okay, so almost we are in the fifth and sixth generation of computers. Okay, so initially uh, when the computer evolution started of uh, uh, variation in sizes. Okay, and after that, that the variation in computers uh, is mainly depends upon the performance of the computer. Okay, and these are the broad classification of the computer. Uh, it is microcomputer. Laptop computer, workstation, supercomputer, mainframe, handheld, and multi-core computers. Okay, and these are the different uh, computers you can see here. And very importantly, a uh, very broad classification we will we'll start with the uh, personal computer. Okay, so personal computer is normal desktop computer. It's a normal desktop computer which we normally use in our homes, right? So you can you can have a keyboard, mouse. And you can have a CPU, and if you need, you can use a printer, and as well as uh, the speakers and all those things, correct? Right, so that is the uh, personal computer. And what is workstation? What is workstation? You know what is laptop computer, correct? So laptop computer is uh, uh, the portable device. It is a handheld device. It is a very portable device, right? And it consists of all the elements in a single, in a single unit, right? So that is called as laptop computer. Right, and workstation, you understand, workstation is also like a desktop computer, it is also a desktop computer, but it has uh, a sophisticated memory and as well as the computational power when compared to the uh, personal computer. That is, the storage capacity and as well as the computational power will be a little better in workstation and it will be used in some organization, institutions and all those things. Okay. And apart from workstation, you can classify the other computer. So the other very important computer is uh, the enterprise system. 
the enterprise system. So, what is enterprise system? So, the enterprise system, you don't understand, the enterprise system is just used in a uh, lot of organizations, corporation operates, right, and in very big organizations, okay. And even the computers which is used here, it can be of uh, servers, servers, and even mainframe computers can be used here, mainframe computers. And then, very importantly, supercomputers can be used. Supercomputers. And only, uh, I think you will understand this, the difference between the normal computer and the enterprise systems are based upon the performance of the computer. Right. So, it, it will have more memory and more computational power. Right. For example, server computers can able to uh, process the requests, the various requests at the same time. Right. And similarly, I want to explain what is mainframe computer. And supercomputer will have more sophisticated uh, computational power and as well as uh, the memory. Right. And supercomputers mainly used in, uh, in advanced applications like uh, aircraft design, simulation, or weather report, something like that. Okay. So, these are the various different types of computers. And apart from that, we have handheld device right now where you can, you can have tablet. Uh, where you can it's very handy devices right now and there is multi-core computers as well okay so this is what we have seen what is personal computer what is portable computer that is laptop is a portable computer and workstation is nothing but a powerful desktop computer with a lot of processing speed as i said okay and supercomputers mainly used in weather weather systems and as well as in in uh, uh, aircraft design simulation and all those things right it is an enterprise support system and mainframe computer is also another uh, expensive uh, computer where it will have more computational power and more storage can be uh, occupied, right? It can be used. And uh, handheld device or personal digital assistance, which is very handy right now, like calculator, notepad, something like that, right? And multi core processor, right now we have parallel computing platforms, many cores are computing elements in a single chip, right? We have PlayStations, uh, Core Duo. Uh, i3, i7 processor and all those things, correct? Which supports parallel computing, okay? So these are the various types of computers, okay? Thank you students, thank you for watching. Kandipa in the video, you will be useful. Subscribe passionate professor and keep learning. Thank you very much.